What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about some ways that you can learn cybersecurity with absolutely no degree. So for those of you who just clicked on the video and are not subscribed, I'm Cyber Tom and I teach all things IT and cybersecurity. Let's talk about some of the ways that you can learn cybersecurity outside of traditional schooling. So one of the best ways to learn cybersecurity is in the form of a home lab. Now this can be done a physical home lab or you can do something even in the cloud and spin it up through AWS. If you spin it up through AWS, you're gonna use things like VPCs and NAT gateways and internet gateways and EC2 instances to formulate a home lab so you can understand exactly how devices are communicating with each other inside of the cloud environment. Another thing that you can do just get some VMs spun up on your device that you currently have and spin up a couple Windows devices and Linux devices and start to learn the OS of them. What you can do on the devices is start to harden them. And that's doing things like making sure that the accounts don't have you know, too much permissiveness in them or that passwords are strong enough or that there's an AV on the Linux environment and the Windows environment and that they communicate securely to each other. The next thing you could do is understand the basics of networking. It's fundamental in cybersecurity that you learn the basics of networking. If you're not doing this through some kind of degree, then you're going to have to do it by learning hands-on. How do you learn hands-on? Try to find an old Cisco switch or a router and start going into the interfaces and understanding how they work. Another thing you could do is get yourself a cheap firewall. You can get something like a PFSense firewall and spin it up into your own environment and you'll be able to see how access control policies work and how you can block bad traffic from getting into your network. This is hands-on, very, very, very important knowledge that you can put on your resume. Another software that you can use provided by Cisco is Packet Tracer. It's a software that enables you to be able to spin up virtual networking devices like routers, switches, firewalls, hubs, and you'll be able to communicate back and forth and see where the packets are going in your configured network. Now you can go online easily and figure out how to use Packet Tracer. Now on the other side of security, instead of learning how to defend security, maybe you wanna learn how to attack, and that would be on the other side of what we call red teaming or penetration testing. You'll hear both of those things used. A good thing for red teaming is sites like Try Hack Me, where you can actively try to um, learn and utilize penetration testing tools to attack, um, you know, fake VM virtual machines to understand what attackers are doing. So when you get into the field, you know how to defend against it. And this is gonna be my last point. 99% of organizations, and that may be overstating, but you understand what I mean by that, are using Active Directory, and they're using it for their users and their computers. So when you spin up your virtual machines through Windows on softwares like VMware, make sure that you're spinning up Active Directory, that you're understanding it from the ground up, how it works, how it can be attacked. There's great knowledge on Try Hack Me on how it's attacked and how you can defend it at the same time. It's crucial for you guys to understand this. You're going to come across Active Directory and you need to understand how to protect it. My suggestion, if you want to spend the least possible amount of money, are to do some of the cheaper options, like find yourself an old switch or spin up packet tracer. Um, that'll cost you little to nothing to understand networking. Spin up VMware and spin up some Windows ISO images as well as some Linux images where you can understand how the OS systems can communicate and how you can harden them. You can also go into AWS and use the free tier and just keep track of your spending. And it's only a couple cents to have a couple of those EC2 instances up. So you could see how things are working in the cloud. And I'm gonna dive more into the cloud um, in the next couple of videos coming up. I think it's important for you guys to understand it because that is just where the industry is going. So I hope you guys liked this video. I really wanted to you know, get some knowledge under your belt for how you can learn this field without 
getting a degree. Um, a lot of people that's not an option and they're looking for the more cost effective way to go about it. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification down below for all the videos I post. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.